This is a demonstration of a little bit more of a complex communication um, over the RS-45 hardware network um, with Arduinos. So there's an Arduino Micro, which is acting as the master, and then there's two slave Arduino Leonardos. So last time, it was basically just a one-byte communication, either turn the LED on or off that was on the other board, um, or on the slave boards, rather. And this time, it's a four-byte communication, so there's a byte that is the start of frame byte, and then there's a mode, um, an ID byte, and then the actual data byte. Um, and I'll, th 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 that'll make more sense in a second. So uh, up here, these are like the different buttons to select the different IDs um, of the, the slave Arduinos. So as you can see, there's like a there's an RGB LED on both of these boards, and so that actually enco that actually uh, encodes the ID of the Arduino. So red is like ID value one, green is ID value two, and then blue is ID value three, and that's in and so. So red corresponds with the first switch, green the second switch, and blue the third switch. Um, so also we have two different modes. So this switch controls the mode. So as you can see on both of the slaves, we also have a green LED and a yellow LED. Um, and so if the switch is set to one, it controls the green. If it's set to zero, it controls the yellow. And then there's a potentiometer, which is the data being like the actual, um, the important data being transmitted, which is just a, Zero to f uh, zero to ff hex value that encodes like how bright the LED should be that's selected given the mode. So I'll set the so I'll set the this Arduino to the red channel, which is channel one, and this to channel two, which is the green. And I'll set this to one. And you can see we can now control the, the brightness of the green LED like that and then we can switch over to channel 2 we can control the vi the brightness of the yellow LED and now if we switch over to channel 2 if we switch the switch the switch we can control the green LED and the same thing for the yellow one so super simple but pretty powerful like I said this is you can transmit this stuff very really fast because it's only four bytes of information as opposed to like sending a whole string which could be potentially many many bytes um, like in the 30s, I think the other the the communication protocol I use between the PC and the Arduino usually is like 30 bytes of data being transmitted over a serial bus. But this is much much quicker and a lot less complicated. Um, so thanks for watching. There's a blog post in the description with the source code and the schematics and all that fun stuff.